Cortez. Cortez. Cortez is the world. It's the world. This is the Cortez stuff I was talking about. Cortez Bolo Jackie. From Cortez, you definitely know who they are. Let me get that. I need that. Sign symbolizes the idea of escaping the norm, which Cortez is certainly doing. Cortez is a streetwear brand that has grown to become one of the hottest clothing brands in the UK. With people trampling each other at in person drops, trading in $1,000 designer jackets for Cortez pieces, and their online store selling out in minutes, the rise of Cortez is undeniable. So, to explain the incredible rise of Cortez, let's go back to the beginning. Cortez was founded by Clint in his childhood bedroom in late 2017. But before there was Cortez, there was Cade. Cade on the map was a clothing brand co founded by Clint and his friend Adi. The two were friends in university and decided to launch a clothing brand in 2015. The first collection released in April of 2016 when Clint was just 19 and sold fairly well. But less than a year later, Cade was officially dissolved and both the Instagram page and website have both been taken down. In fact, the only remainder of Cade is their Twitter account, which hasn't been active since 2018. It's not clear what led to the end of Cade, but the two friends don't follow each other on social media and Clint has distanced himself from the Cade brand in general. But if at first you don't succeed, try again. Starting out with screen printed blanks of their iconic Alcatraz logo, Cortez had humble beginnings. Clint would screen print pieces on his own and get his friends to model them, then sell them out of the backs of cars and stands. The simple unique designs paired with high quality garments allowed the brand to spread organically. He was able to tap into connections he made while being a part of Apex and put Cortez on the back of some of the UK's most polarizing personalities, putting the brand in front of more and more eyes every day. Clint capitalized on this new attention by having random pop-ups throughout London and through Rules the World parties to build a sense of community. At that time, people who knew about Cortez were part of a niche group and this was by design. The Instagram was private, the website password protected, and the drops were rare and sold out quickly. Cortez spread throughout the streetwear community by word of mouth and Instagram alone, and eventually, tastemakers got a hold of the brand. But through Clint's various connections and collabs with groups like Motherland, Places and Faces, and various UK icons, the brand exploded. Soon, celebrities will be seen wearing Cortez at concerts and on Instagram. Stars like Stormzy, Dave, Georgia Smith, Slon, and many more would be seen wearing Cortez on stage or just out in public. And these people were actual fans of the brand. They weren't being paid to promote Cortez and they weren't given the clothes for free. Anyone who wore Cortez actually liked the brand, but few would do more for the brand than Central C. Cortez was already bubbling in the London underground, but Central C blowing up in 2020 took the brand to another level. In October of 2020, Central C's Day in the Life music video dropped. The video featured Sanch running around London, head to toe in brands like Trapstar, Nike, and Cortez. Central C's career was taking off and the spotlight was all on him. And all the while he was rising, he had Cortez plastered on his chest. Clint was quick to take advantage of all this new attention. The drops started to happen much more frequently and attendance at ear person drops became so large that customers had to compete against each other just for a chance to score merch. Clint also dropped new and unique products that went viral in their own sense, like the balaclava drop and the women's crop top. With all this new attention came the threat of resellers and scalpers, but to counteract this, Clint would publicly cancel orders of people who bought Cortez just to resell it. It seemed like Cortez was everywhere and anyone who was tapped in knew about it. And one of the brand's biggest moments was when fashion mogul Virgil Abloh wore a pair of Cortez socks to the Met Gala, putting the brand in front of an American audience at one of the most watched fashion events of the year. But the biggest moment in the brand's history was still yet to come. On January 21st of 2022, the Cortez Instagram page announced the new bolo jacket would be coming to their collection. But instead of buying it, you would have a chance to trade in your own North Face winter jacket for it. The next day, Clean dropped the coordinates to a parking lot near Winford Stadium, and people went crazy. People were running through the streets, climbing fences and riding bikes through traffic to get a chance at one of the 50 bolo jackets available. Thousands of dollars worth of jackets were collected, ranging from regular $300 North Face jackets to Drake's $800 Nocta Nike jacket. Even designer brands like Supreme and Montclair were all being traded for Cortez bolos. Cortez ended up donating the 16,000 pounds or just over $20,000 worth of jackets to the homeless. A few days after, the bolo jackets officially dropped on the website and sold out within minutes. The event was so viral that it hit mainstream sites like Complex and Vogue Business and has driven Cortez further into the public eye. The Cortez logo represents rebellion against convention, 
but the brand has grown to mean more than that in its four years, with streetwear becoming more mainstream every day. The true essence of brands like Bape and Supreme have been watered down by corporate influence, causing them to release questionable pieces and play into the resale game. It's gotten so rampant that there are only a handful of true streetwear brands left. Cortez is like a breath of fresh air in comparison, and I'm excited to see what they do next, because Cortez rules the world. Oh, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be a hard ending right there. That's